In this video, I'll show you how to add a mechanical XY slide holder with a vernier measurement scale to the stage of the Puma microscope. While stage clips are great for holding a slide still on the stage, if you want to move a slide around, either to screen it or to chase a moving target, then a precision mechanical XY slide holder is preferable. Mechanical slide manipulators can also be motorized for computer controlled slide scanning or automated specimen tracking, although I won't be describing motorization in this video. Puma can use one of these two alternative XY stage modules. Each has its pros and cons as I'll describe. However, there are some modules that can't be used with Puma because they won't fit with all the other necessary parts of the stage mechanism. For example, you can't use this model, even though it is a good quality holder. Because of the various size and shape restrictions of the Puma design, you can't just buy one of these modules and attach it. Some custom modification will be needed first, as I'll show you. The cheapest slide holder is the one that Puma was originally designed to use. Apart from low cost, it has the advantage that you can use it to screen the whole part of a standard 25 by 75 mm microscope slide that would normally be used to mount a specimen, so excluding the part at one end that would normally contain a label. To achieve this maximal area of scanning, you need to insert the slide with the label end against the straight arm of the holder, as shown. Its limitations are that it has plastic gears that can get damaged more easily than metal gears. Some, but not all of them, also suffer from some lift of the X boom that can be distracting when moving a slide by hand, because each time you handle the X control, the slide can go out of focus. The Puma XY Stabilizer module, discussed later, was designed to reduce this lift. Also, it may not be such a problem if the slide holder is motorized with a stable motor mount instead of being used by hand. Another problem with this cheaper model is that they tend to suffer from slight dimensional variations depending on manufacturer, which may require you to make additional modifications prior to use, as I'll describe later. The alternative slide holder has the advantage of all metal construction, including the gears, and it is of overall better quality, but costs about three times the price of the cheaper version. It can be used with the original Puma design for the stage, but doing this brings two limitations. The first is that it restricts the full range of Y motion, so it can't fully screen the same area of a slide as the cheaper holder. And secondly, these fixing pins are 2 mm in diameter instead of the 3 mm pins used by the cheaper model, so there is some play in the fit. However, to give people the option to make fuller use of this higher quality holder, I've updated the stage base plate to add a new set of holes, offset by just the right amount to allow this high quality holder to screen the same hole slide surface as the cheaper unit. Furthermore, the new holes for the pins are smaller to prevent play in the fit. There are no other differences in the new base plate, so this is entirely backwards compatible with existing Puma microscopes and can be swapped in as an upgrade if you want to use this high quality slide holder to best effect. Having said that, even this all metal holder still has a little play in the X boom, but not as much as the cheaper version. Note that the XY stabilizer system described later cannot be used with this metal holder. Finally, an important limitation of both these slide holders is that they can bump into long objectives that are close to the specimen. These are often higher magnification objectives. And this will limit their range of Y motion regardless of which type of holder or base plate is used. It can also damage your objective if you're not careful and mindful of this fact. So bear this in mind when using either of these mechanical slide holders. Both types of slide holder need some modification before use. The first modification is the need to truncate the long curved arm. This must be shortened otherwise it gets caught on the Puma front focus post. It's important not to shorten it too much though, because then it won't hold the slide well. 
the correct procedure and measurements to truncate it are as shown in these figures. The metal can easily be cut with a junior hacksaw and smoothed with a fine metal file and emery cloth. Be sure to wear appropriate eye, hand and clothing protection when doing this or any metal work and keep others away while you work, children and pets etc. so they don't get metal dust in their eyes and lungs. Also, take care to do this metalwork away from any optics and don't get metal filings in the gear mechanisms. Clear away all metal dust before taking the unit back to the microscope. For the cheaper slide holder, you may need to shorten the length of its X boom so it fits into this recess. Whether you need to do this depends on the model you get. Some of them fit just fine as they are and so need no modification. To tell whether you need to do anything, Measure the distance from the outer edge of this fixing pin to the furthest point along the fixed part of the X boom. Include any length of screw head in this measurement. This measurement must be less than 6.5 mm to fit the recess in the base plate. If it is not, then simply unscrew these two screws and remove the end plate from the X boom. If you do need to remove this plate, then you must be careful not to move the X mechanism too far out, or you won't be able to move it back without some help. The furthest you can move it with this plate removed is to the point where the 60 on the X millimeter scale just reaches the midway mark on the X vernier scale as shown. This is more than enough to screen a standard slide. If you do go past this point, the internal X mechanism will lose its thread connection and you won't be able to retract it using the X control unless you simultaneously apply pressure to the protruding mechanism while turning the control back. One other adjustment you may need to make for both types of slide holder is to ensure the spring arm and straight arm both lie flat with respect to the stage. These holders work by holding the slide off the stage slightly by gripping the slide between the two arms. However, this won't work if the arms are not parallel to the stage and close to it. You can effect adjustment of this using these two screws for each arm. For example, here I show how the spring arm position can be altered using these screws. The same type of adjustment can be done for the straight arm. To fit your modified slide holder to an assembled Puma microscope, do the following as illustrated. Raise the stage fully till just before the springs fold in on themselves. Remove the fine gear nut and washer on the underside of the stage.
unscrew the fine gear bolt upwards till the end of the bolt is flush with the underside of the base plate. Remove the PTFE spacer ferrule from the top of the fine gear axle if one has been fitted. Position the slide holder arms thus. Retract the X arm as far as it will go towards the X control knob and position the Y arm so the moving part of the Y mechanism is level with the fixed part at the rear. Hook the Y control of the slide holder around the XY focus post of the microscope and pivot the whole slide holder around this post so the straight arm of the slide holder goes past the front focus post. To do this, the end of the X boom must be above the level of the front focus post riser and the rear part of the Y mechanism must be manoeuvred between the underside of the back belt tensioner and the top of the intermediate gear. So ensure the intermediate gear is positioned down as low as it can go on its axle. Now, with the fine gear raised as high as it can go on its axle, complete the hook around maneuver by passing the rear of the Y mechanism of the slide holder between the underside of the small part of the fine gear and the top of the rear focus post riser. The Y control stick of the slide holder must be touching the XY post of the microscope at all times during this maneuver. Once the straight arm of the slide holder is past the front focus post, straighten up the slide holder to its normal position. Release the fine gear so it falls back down and raise the intermediate gear on its axle as far as it will go before being stopped by the coarse gear. This provides room for the fixing bracket of the slide holder to be positioned backwards into the recess for it in the stage, so its pins can be lined up with the holes for them. Now lower the fixing bracket till its pins are fully inserted into their holes. Fix the slide holder in place with its fixing screw inserted from the underside of the base plate and tighten it. If you're using the all metal slide holder, or if you have no intention of fitting the XY stabilizer, you can now lower the intermediate gear back down and retighten the fine gear post back to its normal position. Then reattach the rear washer and nut and leg on the underside of the base plate and lower the stage back to a normal use position. If there was a PTFE ferrule on the top of the fine gear, reattach it now. For the cheaper slide holder, you may want to add the XY stabilizer to limit the amount of X boom lift that occurs when handling the X control. This is not a problem with all these models, and the XY stabilizer has issues of its own and can damage the gears if fixed too tightly, so you should not fit the XY stabilizer unless it is really needed. This lift happens because the cover of the Y control mechanism in some units has play in it which allows it to rock back and forth on the Y control gear well, as shown. These are the parts and the tools you'll need to make the XY stabilizer. Details are given in the video description. After printing the stabilizer, remove the supports and clean it up from any stray plastic as usual. Insert an M4 nut 3mm thick into the hexagonal socket for it here.
check that the PTFE ferrule rolls freely on the M6 bolt. If not, then increase the size of the PTFE tube aperture with a 6mm drill, taking appropriate safety precautions, similar to what was described for the focus post ferrules in the video on Z-Stage 2 troubleshooting. Thread the 16mm long M6 bolt into its hole. You will be cutting the thread into the plastic as you do this. Thread it all the way in, then thread it back until the end of the bolt is flush with the internal surface of the recess for the ferrule. Insert the ferrule into the recess and re-tighten the bolt to keep the ferrule in place. Check that the ferrule rolls freely on the bolt. If it doesn't, you may need to make some adjustments to the print to allow it to roll freely depending on what's stopping it. Finally, be sure to turn the M6 bolt so that its hexagonal head rests in the orientation shown, otherwise it will interfere with the motion of the microscope fine focus gear. Now, with the stage raised to its highest limit before the springs fold in on themselves, Remove the fine gear and its axle bolt completely. and raise the intermediate gear on its axle till it contacts the coarse gear. Slip in the XY stabilizer and lower the intermediate gear back to its normal position. Insert a 12mm long M4 screw from the underside of the base plate into the M4 nut that is in the stabilizer, but do not tighten it fully. Now drop another 3mm thick M4 nut into the housing for it in the stabilizer as shown, and insert another M4 screw from the underside of the base plate into that nut, but do not tighten it fully. Carefully adjust the tightness of both M4 screws so that you minimize lift of the X boom during turning of the X control, while at the same time not causing too much drag on the Y control motion. Be careful not to over tighten the screws, or you could snap teeth in the Y axis gear due to too much resistance to Y motion. You can now reinsert the fine gear with its washer and axle bolt, reattach the rear leg and lower the stage back to a normal position. Use of the vernier scales to measure distances to 0.1mm accuracy is described in many tutorials, so I won't repeat that here. However, I'll take this opportunity to mention that this rectangular window in the focus platform was originally designed here to allow you to read the vernier scale on the x-axis, 
because otherwise all the focusing mechanism of the Puma scope will make it difficult to see. Your upgrade to a mechanical XY slide holder is now complete and ready to use. Thanks for watching.